Andre Way would just release once again, just come kind of reminisce about some things. Jamil, you don't have yeah. to break nothing. Yeah. The time of uh, Black Art here over here in Home Club. Lights been black out for the last three days. Due to due to the little old uh, weather episode we went through. Praying peace upon y'all families today. Praying peace on those who are incarcerated. Men, women, and teenagers. So, so we are, uh, we here, you know, we here, and things is just looking up. It don't matter, you know. Uh, everything's good, everything's good. Just thought I'd come by, stop by, just release and do a video, do a video, you know. I uh, uh, was thinking about the time, you know, when uh, I was on East Ham. And, and, and on East Ham, I, at this time, I worked the back gate. I was a back, a back gate SSI. And, I, and it was so, it was pretty that morning. It was pretty, you know, the weather was, was good. And all of a sudden, the, uh, the weather changed. It changed. Uh, and and we had a, a flash flood warning. We had a hurricane warning that supposed that came in that area in which we was at, which was uh, Love Lady Texas between Love Lady Texas and Midway Texas, and it was a uh, it was a, it was a, it was an experience that I ha I had never experienced because like I say. I was the back gate at SSI, and I was at work at that time. And when it had the storm started coming in the game, you could see the clouds. You know, you can see the clouds where it was getting dark and everything. And all of a sudden, it got real dark, right? And then you heard this, you know, and it started, uh, you know, raining and everything. It started st uh, storming. And now all of a sudden, you can hear hear this sound you hear the sound in the distance and and it was like a a, a a hard train it was like a hard train that that was that was pushing and coming right and now and and it was a tornado it was a tornado a tornado had hit down the uh trinity river it came down the trinity river and in between the Trinity the River is East Ham and Ferguson, two state penitentiaries. And and, and and they had this Trinity, this river, big old river that lies separate these two plantations. So man, this storm, this tornado, man, came down the Trinity at a time while I was at work. I was at work. I was at work. And we had a storm, a tornado, war, storms that you can remember while being in prison. You had weather storms that shut facilities down to the point where they had to move all the inmates off of that, off of that tank, off of that facility. And, and transform to another place where they had to, uh, where they didn't have storms in that area, and they moved them to them areas. And you know, they was real pick places because the storm didn't come in them areas. So they had to move you across Texas from north to down to the south. Or, from south up to the north or west or east, that's what they did to keep uh, to keep you, uh, I guess, alive. Where that boy at? What boy? Uh, Ron B. I don't know. I guess he coming when 
And then you talk to him crazy, so you wait on him to do it. I'm saying, when times you have to wait on somebody to make some money, trying to yeah, allow him to make him some money, and I guess he, you know, it's too hot for him, I guess. But it's all right, it's all right. But but storms, you know, I experienced while you know being in prison. You know, I remember a time when. Uh, again, on East Ham, um, we had uh, we had a storm, and, and then we had some busted pipes, and the busted pipes caused uh, caused us on the facility to be out of water for almost a month. I thought he plugged the TV back up in the fan. No. Nah. Parent to court. I was watching this parent to court, and you know, and the parent, parent, they uh, they look and see if the child belongs to. You. And they had on this show, on this show, the mother of of the daughter who has the the baby from that's supposed to be from the young man had. She felt like. That wasn't his baby. That wasn't his his baby, and so the uh, grandmother brought uh, brought the daughter to court. Brought the daughter to court. Come find out it ain't the boy child, and you know this he kind of messed up spiritually, you know, whatever he messed up. But I was on East Ham at the time. And the pipes busted, and we had, we was without water for almost a month. And when the water did come on, because East Ham had also had a big old tower, and, and this tower was a, a water, uh, one of the big water uh, tanks, and 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 they a lot of the water came from them tanks that was up on uh East Sam land. And, and 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 what took place was is that at this time I think they was running out of Love Lady water system and this is what caused them to uh Hey we got something cold to drink up in that Tremel? Yeah, could y'all give me one man please? And um uh, uh Things things went on on that on that compound to the point where they was running a lot of stuff of the of the old way and wasn't up to date in a sense, you know, of how of how they do things. So it was it was complicated because you know you had all them old officers with them old plantated mindsets that was still acting in the manner. Of uh, a penitentiary of the uh, 1800s or something, you know, and so that stuff wasn't working, you know, it wasn't working right. The towel, I remember one time the towel we had 
had collapsed. And you know what I'm saying? All this time, it, it didn't bust the water tank uh, uh, and everything. But you know, and the, and they had this either the the largest field system or the law or the second largest field uh, system in in the whole uh, region. You know. And, and you know, and that just says you know because uh, down probably seventy three percent of of their livestock or they or they found a foundation was was uh picking cotton, picking cotton, you know, and and this and this days just didn't sit foot sit right in in, in a sense of storms because it was so. It was so much built upon uh, the old way, and, and and instead of improving for the new way, they was just sitting there. And, and when the storms came, they it, you know it was it was something totally different. You know, it was a different outlook. And so we 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 think that. We be knowing things by being in these institutions. And what I mean by knowing things is, is that you know we feel that we can be in a storm and be well protected. You know, and and, and that's true because, like I say, before a storm hit, and, and considering the danger of the storm, they evacuate. The, the facilities they'll evacuate the units of all uh, mankind but I remember a time on Styles unit when a hurricane had hit hit the uh, uh, Beaumont and and the whole city thank you the whole city had evacuated and the whole city was gone except Styles unit and I think the federal unit offenders and all the officers that was caught up working there that couldn't leave. Couldn't leave. Had to shower on it on the unit and everything. Yeah, it was it was a it was a it was a mess, man. I'm talking about uh inmates and officers showering in showering in uh in in bad condition of water i'm talking about water was like dark brown and but but she wanted to bathe so bad that you bathed in that water even the office But time in times of storms, while being in prison, you know, uh, can 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 affect somebody that that's locked up, right? You locked up, and you know a storm is about to hit, and and it's close to the hometown where you live, right? And the next morning you wake up. And and you and you you see the news, and and you read about how much of a disaster, how much the the storm had destroyed in the hometown where you from. Now that you know that's that uh, that that takes you to a, another mentally stage of effect where you know you be kind of messed up. You know you be kind of messed up because here it is. You know, a disaster has done took place in your hometown, and, and you can't even uh, do anything about it. And you can't even speak up on it. You can't even speak up on it. And and and, and you know, when you when you uh, pay attention to this, uh, uh, to to yourself, you you know you know you really done messed up in life because. Life didn't stop just because you got locked up. It continues to go on. Life destructions, 
the betterments of life that goes on in people's lives that is, is graduating from school or people that is, is upseeding in jobs. It's so much that going on in life just because you got locked up didn't mean that it was going to stop. So disasters goes on as well when you have storms inside the prison. And then them storms inside the prison can be far more greater than the destruction on the outside of the walls of prison. Because guess what? Man brings on storms. Man brings on destruction even inside the walls of prison. I told you when you tell somebody about just release, tell them hit that like button. Tell them hit that like button. Because ain't no telling what I might come back with next.